Hey guys, welcome back to That Door Navigator. So, have you ever heard the old saying, out with the old and in with the new? Well, that's what's happening today, in a sense. A couple weeks ago, you got to see my video on my new Merrill boots. Uh, look up in the card and you'll see the length of those. Well, with the coming in, with the coming of the new boots comes the outgoing of the old boots. So guys, I'm getting ready to retire my old boots okay so today in essence is a retire a retirement party all right what am i retiring i'm retiring my hoka kaha gtx boots all right i've had these things for a year and you know what they've served me well they've been a good boot i'm going to take them on one final hike up here at the berea pinnacles uh, if you've never been there i'm gonna throw a link up in the card Okay, that will show you some of the hikes I've done up here. But, yeah, this is a farewell to uh, a good boot that has served me well. So, let's get on the trail and kiss these babies goodbye because there's some new boots in town. guys so the final trip for the old hoka keha or kaha or whatever you want to call it kaha gtx uh this was the final trip for them they're getting ready to get put out for pasture i've got some new boots uh i've had these boots for a year and uh they've been good ones and when i get home i'll give you the rundown of all the specs on these boots i'll tell you what i think about them what I liked, what I didn't like, and uh, I'll show you the new boots that are out there that Hoka has. So stay tuned, and I'll get back with you here in a second. All right, so let's review these Hoka Kaha GTXs. Well, like I told you, I'm getting ready to retire them, but I've had a year worth of experience with them, so I feel like I can give you a good review. I don't work for Hoka. Uh, they don't pay me, they don't sponsor me, they don't give me anything. I pay full price just like you do. So, let's look at the five things that I grade a boot on. Alright, so number one, comfort. Alright, I gave these boots a five. And I've been wearing boots for 40 years hiking in them. I've had a lot of boots on my feet. I spent four years on active duty in the military, eight years in the National Guard, and I've worked for federal law enforcement for 18 years. So I've wore boots a lot and I've wore a bunch of different boots. And I can tell you, these are the most comfortable boots that I've ever had on my feet, okay? That being said, the reason why they're so comfortable is they have a bottom layer of rubberized foam that just, when you're wearing these and you're walking, it's like you're walking on air. And I mean, look how big that sole is down there on the bottom, all right? A lot of people say these look like diabetes shoes. Well, I don't care what they say. They're super comfortable. Now, uh, before I had these, I had some uh, Hoka running shoes, okay? And when I ran in those, I mean, they were the same thing. They're super comfortable. And then when I saw they had boots, I was like, well, you know, uh, they're already doing the running shoes, right? They can't mess the boots up. And you know what? They didn't. So, I'm going to give it a five for comfort. All right, durability. All right, durability, I gave them a three, okay? They are not the most durable boot that I've ever had, okay? If you look here, all right, we're starting to get some separation up here on the toe cap. Uh, if you look around the rest of the boot, not too bad of wear, but then when you get down on the soles, I mean, they've wore pretty bad, okay? Now, I have them, I've had them a year. Uh, I've put a lot of miles on them. A lot of the miles were on pavement, but uh, I've had other boots, okay, that I'm going to make to, and they didn't really wear this bad. I mean, these are pretty much slick right here in the middle. So, you know, I can't give it a really high score on durability. So I'm going to have to go with the three. All right, traction. All right, traction on these boots. You can't really see what these lugs look like when I, like they were when I first got them because they've been wore so much. 
but I just never felt like these boots had really good traction, okay? Whenever I was hiking over uh, loose ground, okay, I uh, felt like there was a lot of slippage. I just feel like that they need to do something better with the pattern. And here after a while, I'm gonna show you the new boots that they got, the new Cajas GTX-2s, and they have changed that so they may be better. And so on traction, I'm gonna give them a three. All right, support and stability. With these boots, uh, they come up really high on my ankle. I don't know if you can see. But they do come up real high on the ankle. The only problem is, is they're really soft, okay? And that's part of that comfort level. I mean, this is just really squishy, you know? But the problem with that is, is if you're carrying a lot of heavy weight over a long distance, okay, it doesn't really give you the ankle support that, uh, that I like to have when I'm carrying weight. So I wish that they were a little bit more rigid. So for stability and support, I'm gonna give them a three. The fifth thing that I look at, it's just kind of like the extras, the bonuses. All right, so one bonus, hey, it's got Gore-Tex. Okay, so what does that do for you? Well, it keeps your feet warm, it wicks that sweat away from your feet, keeps your feet dry, and a lot of people wear Gore-Tex boots and they say that their feet get hot. I've wore these in the winter, I've worn them in the summer, and I can tell you my feet never felt like they were hot, so. Hey, that was a bonus in my book. Uh, hey, these laces, they look just as good today as the day I bought them. So, you know, I've had shoes, the laces wear out, you know, they, they get frays in them and tangles. Uh, these laces are perfect, just like the first day I got them. So, you know, that's good. Uh, what else do they have extra on them? I know what it is. It's uh, standability. All right, so you may wonder what standability. Well, standability is when you got to stand in a boot all day, all day, I mean for extended periods of time, uh, it can make your feet hurt. These boots here, standability is probably the highest mark that you're going to get, okay? These boots, you can stand in them all day, and that goes back to comfort. And if you remember, I gave them a five on comfort. So, for bonuses, you got Gore-Tex, got good laces, standability, high score, so I'm gonna give it a five. All right, so if you're any good at math, you got a 19 out of 25. Okay, that's a solid C, a solid C, and C gets degrees, okay? So, hey, these are good boots. I love them. Uh, not the, you know, I've had boots that uh, score higher in all the criteria, but if you want a boot that's just good for going out and taking day hikes, and uh, even if you work in them or something like that, these are the most comfortable boots, seriously, that I've ever had on my feet. But you know what? Uh, it's time to retire these because I got some new ones. So we're gonna let those go and uh, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, they're the Merrill Moabs. And if you look up in the card, I'll give you the link to the new boots I got. And here in a couple months, I'll do a review on them and see how they've been doing. So uh, stand by here and I'm gonna get online and I'll show you the new boots that uh, Hoka has, the new Cajas, and we'll look at them and see if they might be better than these. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's just check out the specs online real quick with these two boots, okay? So, all right, so the Caja GTX these are the ones that I have, okay? And you can see right now, they got them on the Hocus site for 165, so they are on sale, and looks like they have plenty of different uh, sizes. All right, so these boots, like I said, the comfort just couldn't be beaten, okay? If you look down there, uh, you know, I told you about the Gore-Tex booties, okay, inside, that was definite plus. Uh, they've got the Vibram Mega Grip High Traction Sole, okay, with five millimeter lugs. Like I told you, I don't know. They just didn't wear very good. So, uh, you know that that was really the that was really one of the only things that I saw with these boots that I didn't like. You know, just just the fact that the durability was a little bad. The traction could have been a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the comfort just can't be beat. 
and uh, you know if you're going to be carrying a lot of weight like I told you I don't know I mean I just thought they were a little bit soft I like them a little bit uh, more rigid okay uh, on my ankles so that uh, I don't end up turning one when I'm out hiking so anyway let's uh, let's look at the new ones okay and see what they look like all right so the Kaha GTX Kaha 2 GTX all right so pretty sharp I like this color right here. What do we got here? The uh, duffel bag. I like that a lot. Uh, we also got, comes in black. All right, that's not too bad looking boot. Oh, we're, uh, eh, I don't know about that color. Cappuccino. Yeah, I like maybe cappuccinos uh, to drink, but uh, I don't think I want cappuccino shoes. That looks, uh, that looks pretty terrible. All right, and blue. Eh. I don't really like that one either. I mean, uh, Hocus got some wild colors sometimes, but uh, I do like the black ones, and I do like these right here. Okay, they're just some sizes it looks like they're out of. So anyway, when we look here on the rundown, all right, so these here, they've got a little bit different uh, sole. They've got the Vibra Mega Grip Rubber, so... Who knows, maybe they fixed the traction problem. It says it's got traction lug. Quick lace metal top hooks. Uh, a lot of the rest of it looks about the same. You know, when you when you zoom in and look at the boot, it looks like it's still kind of soft up there at the top. So, I don't know. I just... Really good comfort, but I like my boots to be a little more rigid around my ankles. But... Oh, look here, they put a little stitch in here. Okay, remember how I showed you where mine had come apart? So that might help with that right there. So, you know, innovative. I mean, Hoka is probably looking at some of the feedback they got on those and fixing problems. But, uh, you know, this is, I would buy these boots again. I mean, you know, they were especially good wearing to work. And just because of how comfort, standability, I mean, you could just stand in them all day and your feet felt so awesome. So, uh, pretty good boot. So, that uh, that wraps it up, guys, uh, with my review of the uh, Hoka Kaha GTX. Like I said, I'm getting ready to retire these boots. So, uh, it was good uh, talking to you again. I uh, hope you liked my review. If you've got any questions about these boots, go down to the comments and... Uh, Ask me any questions you want, uh, or if you just got a comment in general, put it on there. So, appreciate you stopping by. Uh, look forward to talking to you again. Navigate outdoors, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Oh, God.